Okay, we've got another concept car for you today, and this one is called the Mako Shark. The X, it's called the XP755 concept car. And it was, the 1961 Corvette tail was given two additional tail lights, six total, for the concept car. The concept was inspired by Bill Mitchell's 1959 Stingray Racer XP87, which also inspired the 1963 split one to Corvette. A widespread story has it that Mitchell had an actual Mako shark mounted on the wall in his office and ordered his team to paint the car to match the distinctive blue-gray upper surface gently blending into the white underside of the fish. Wow, did not know that. Wow, that's neat. After numerous attempts to match the fish's color scheme failed, the team hit upon the idea of kidnapping the fish one night painting it to match their best efforts on the car and returning it to the office. Mitchell never realized the difference and pronounced himself pleased with the team's duplication of the car of the nature's handiwork. <laughs> That's wild. The Mako Shark was a tremendous success in the auto show circuit. In fact, it's been noted just how closely it resembles the design of the 1963 Chevrolet Corvette. A lot of the Mako's design elements made it into production, but the Mako Shark concept wasn't the only fish of its kind at General Motors. The XP755 Mako Shark 1 concept car was used in movies that aired in, in October 1961. General Motors supplied most of the vehicles that were driven in the series. In this particular episode, the main characters of Route 66, Buzz, and Todd drove a 1962 Corvette. But another character, Prudy Adams, drives a very exotic looking Mako Shark 1 with a, with a double bubble top and side exhaust pipes. Wow, that's got wow. to be ugly. One ugly car. <laughs> uh, after a period, he removed the original body and redesigned it as a Mako Shark 2 in 1965. This concept influenced the re redesigned Mako of 1968. The Mako Shark 2 debuted in 1965 as a car show. Chevrolet actually created two of them, only one of which was fully functional. The non-running car, the non-running show car, sported some interesting futuristic details, such as a square section side pipes and squared-off steering wheel, which the functioning version didn't have these features. The Mako Shark 2 was powered by a 427 Mark IV engine, which became available in production in Corvette models. The 1969 Mako Shark 2 was returned to GM's design studios and transformed, transformed into the Manta Ray modifications. Show them the Manta Ray. This, that is the Manta Ray. That's the Manta Ray right there. Oop, too close. Right there. Now, uh, include a front spoiler, a redesigned grill, and external exhaust pipes. Modifications were also made to the rear. They included a buttress-style rear window and a longer, more horizontal end section. The Firestone tires were replaced with Goodyear tires. Both Mako 1 and Manta Ray are currently part of the GM Heritage Center collection. There we go. Another concept car gone down the tubes. <laughs> and this is our show. I'm to your host. And I'm KK, your co-host. Right here. See, See ya. ya.